Hello, my name is Alvin Hun for the Temporal Sensitivity Analysis for Enhanced Dynamic Equivalent Circuit Modeling of Lithium-Ion Batteries in Onboard Battery Management System. My co-authors are Akash Samantha and Dr. Sheldon Williamson from Ontario Tech University. To preface the study, the importance for faster modeling and real-time updates is to assist determining the current status of the batteries and to warn the driver if an unexpected event, such as a battery fire, may occur in the future. Therefore, the study aims to assist with faster onboard modeling of batteries by exploring which model is suitable for onboard development in terms of development. The basis for the system is developing an extended model from the Thevenin model. The battery would send data to the model, which is estimated in two stages, linear and exponential fit for determining the RC pairs. This is the setup for battery data collection. Within the thermal chamber, we're able to switch out the battery type. The instruments up here allow us to monitor the battery data, discharge and charge the battery, and a power supply for controlling auxiliary units. The thermal chamber itself is programmable, and the control is done through MATLAB. For processing the data after cycling, the system uses some MATLAB toolboxes. This is a representation of the pre-processed raw data. Next, we'll be to determine the pulses within the system. Since the MATLAB model cannot do both charge and discharge, um, dynamic pulses are removed. An optional step would be determining the most suitable order of the model. Afterwards, temporary parameters are set before being fed into exponential fit. The resultant still has some amount of errors, but is relatively fit closely. Next would be to sit into a linear model. And these are the, the post-processed parameter data, resulting in a fairly more accurate model. After processing the initial data for parameters, the lookup tables are fed into a battery model. The next task is to determine the error for the new validation set. Overall, the 3RC model is normal in terms of error, operation, and runtime. In conclusion, 3RC for our Moly Cell Tune 1700 is the most suitable for BMS runtime modeling development since it had the lowest error and a reasonable development time and operation time. Finally, I would like to give thanks to the IEEE Industrial Electronics Society for the IES SYPA opportunity.